my peeps it's october the 13th and it is my first day out in the shop since shoulder surgery uh he gave me the go ahead to lift light light stuff and do little stuff and that's what i'm gonna do still really limited mobility in my arm can only lift it so high can only pull it away from my body so high but with all that said i called bob a family friend of ours been doing uh rear ends for like ever and he basically told me, hey, I'll set the rear end up. I'm not a good teacher and probably not gonna teach because he's retired. So I'm gonna pull the rear end out. My pops and I are gonna take it over to Bob's and drop it off and then uh, we'll pick it up and the gears will be in it. Like I said, I got all new gears, bearings, spool, all that. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. I'm gonna put you on time-lapse, pull the rear end out of this bad boy and then we'll pick back up and go over to Bob's. It was that easy, less than like three minutes to get that thing out. So, we gotta get all this stuff ready to take the bob here. Man, I look fat when I'm bent over like that. Um, so let me show you what we got. The key to making an 8.8 live is to not use the crust sleeve. So those are solid bushing. And then the yoke, oh my strange yoke. And then over here, we got the bearing kit. 8-8, eight, eight. and then gears, 373s baby. <laughs> I bought the uh, XLT didn't come with this under seat sophisticated thing which is okay but I need to put some steel it on this but I made this little thing that way I can store stuff like this little stuff and it's not gonna roll forward and to be honest when we travel the dogs like to bury their heads kind of or one of them does underneath the seats plus I like having the ability to slide stuff through here so uh, I will at the end of this video catch up on this truck it's really um kind of a nothing truck it's an xlt with the black appearance package that's it diesel four-wheel drive nothing crazy cloth interior um and we wanted this bench seat that that the center folds up and down so that way when we have all of our kids if i can get my hands on my son we uh we're open now to like with this truck i mean it pulls like you wouldn't believe and it kind of is going to open up more than just Southern California and Central California as far as towing goes for us. We'll be able to get all of us in here and yank our trailer pretty much wherever. Plus, when the Falcon gets going, you know, we're going to need a box trailer. And obviously, this thing, will, this thing will pull that no problem at all. So, at the end of this video, we'll do a walk around and I'll kind of show you this truck. Well, good morning, you guys. It's October the 15th, Saturday. So my pop and I, we went over to Bob's, and uh, Bob's a pretty private guy. He doesn't like to be filmed. So he pretty much said, you give me the rear end, I'll do it, set it all up. So I'm going to have to learn how to do it on my own. But the rear end's all over at Bob's, so hopefully we get that back in the next week or so with the gears and all the stuff in it. And uh, then we'll get going on the axles. I still got to send that one out, but I guess I'll wait until Bob's done make sure how much stuff I need cut on the rear end and then uh, I'm cooking breakfast right now after I, done, I get done cooking breakfast the wheel uh, inserts that I made on wheel tubs they need to be like an inch longer so I got to redo all those and that's what I'm gonna try and tackle today while the rear ends out of the car <music>
Well, took the daughter over to the DMV so she could get her permit test taken care of. And she passed that on her first go around. Very proud of her. Didn't really work on the Falcon much, but later in the month we headed to Ventura to take our trailer out camping for Halloween. morning you guys it's november the 4th 2022 sorry no videos in a while been extremely busy uh, i'll explain what's going on and later in the video Alright you guys, it's actually now the 5th of November. I didn't get anything done yesterday other than errands. <clears throat> so what's been going on? Well, obviously everybody knows I've had surgery. So been very limited on what I could do. Um, I'm just now getting to where I can like really do some stuff and have some strength in my right shoulder and arm. So obviously my YouTube has suffered from that, from not posting and uploading videos consistently. So I'm gonna try and get back on getting videos up. Uh, yet last night, I didn't film, but I remade that tube that I had in there for mock-up and I used some SN95 hubs so that I can put wheels on the car and move it around. Um, now that I'm kind of healed up, I, I got a couple side jobs or people that I need to help. One being my mom and my stepdad. They have a Volkswagen Bug and it needs a clutch. And my stepdad's been asking me forever if I would do that for him. So I made that tube to where I can put wheels on the Falcon and we can roll it. I'm gonna put the Falcon in the front garage. That way I can get the Volkswagen over there and get the engine out, do the clutch and all that stuff. Um, the axles that I got from Kelly, Quick Performance says they can re-spline the one, but I was looking at that yesterday, and uh, with Bob, I got the rear end back. I was looking at the axle yesterday, and it actually, um, it gets bigger at the end, and there's not enough room for, there's not enough material for them to spline another inch. So, 
I may have to see if I can just get one axle from Strange, order one axle. Um, or just order a new set. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet there, but um, right now we're on the way to the tire store. I've got to change out from those Jegs type wheels to these VMS wheels. So I'm going to take the drag radials off one set of wheels and put them on the other. And uh, once that's done, we'll go back to the shop. I'll show you the rear end, the little mock-up piece that I made, and then uh, we'll talk a little bit more. All right, we're back from the tire store. I'm gonna show you this little axle chingadera I made and then put the tires on this thing and see if it'll roll. So I just took a SN95 hub and did some weird stuff and basically made a fake axle. Uh, that way I can also check inner fender stuff as well. If I can get this up there, I am still weak in my arm. I was able to get it up in there. So that spacer would pretty much be the brake pack or whatever for the drop for the disc brakes.
weird. Those don't want to go on over there. All right, so I know you're asking, why are you doing this? Why aren't you just waiting for the rear end? Um, well, two reasons. I already told you about the axle problem, but I made those nice filler panels for my wheelhouses. And when the wheelhouse was sitting on the inside of the frame, the tire was gonna hit it. So I had to take all that apart and move the inner fender uh, wheelhouses in. I'll flip the camera around and show you, but having this cheater bar allows me to check um, the wheelhouses and make sure that nothing's gonna hit. And from what I'm seeing right now, I like it. No, it doesn't look like anything's gonna hit. I'm gonna remake the filler panel and I may change the way that these wheelhouses are mounted because right now they look like they're going at an angle because that's the way the frame is. And I basically got them sitting the same way the frame is. So I may need to tweak them a little bit so that they look a little more straight. Um, the goal for me is that when I'm done back here, if you've never looked at a Falcon before, I want it to be kind of be hard for you to tell that something's been changed. Um, Jacob uh, Fox on Instagram, uh, his car looks really, really good. So I'm sure it's gonna take a, some body filler and some paint so that this looks good and some stuff that's been up, but um, I want it to be hard for anybody to tell. Obviously you'll be able to tell that the stock gas tank is different, but. I'm weird like that. I do what I want to do. So we got the rear end back from Bob. I think I mentioned earlier, he didn't want to teach me. He said he's too old and he doesn't have the patience to do it. He's 71 years old, been doing rear ends and setting them up his entire life as an adult. So uh, we got this bad boy back from Bob and we're ready to go. I may change these out to the studs um, just to make it a little bit stronger and yeah everything's good to go so this this axle here this is a one that i got from kelly so basically it bottoms out into the spool and there's no more spline left so let me show you what we got so obviously this is a used axle but it's it's bottoming out here so there's I thought I could send this to quick performance and I don't know if you'll pick it up on the camera, but from about here to here, this thing, it necks up and it gets bigger. So um, they're not gonna be able to spline this. That's not gonna work for me. So my option is to get with Strange and see if I can get one axle, which is probably what I'll do. And I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do with Kelly because we were gonna do some trading for those axles for stock block 302 deal that I've got over here. I got from some tweakers. Um, but at any rate, that's where we're at so far. Um, I'm going to go get my hair cut here in like an hour. And then I'm going to come back and um, work on these rear um, wheelhouses. Sorry there hasn't been a lot going on. Um, I got a lot of personal stuff going on in my personal life and it's really taking its toll as far as being able to just come out here and do whatever I want to do whenever I want to do it. Um, 
it's no big deal. Everything's good. Everything's going good. Just a lot of personal stuff going on that requires, you know, a lot of attention elsewhere and, and not in here, but we're going to get back at it and get cranking on this thing. I, I want to get the rear of this car all the sheet metal. I want to get it all back in and welded in. So that's all done. And I don't have to worry about that. Just falling farther and farther behind though, as far as progress, but it is what it is. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is I might take the Fox to a thing called Red List Series. Uh, Tony and Tess want me to take it out, and I think they want to go beat up on me with the Maverick that they've got, which is fine. Um, I want to turbo that car. I have the Terminator X for it. I have this 7875 that I bought for the Falcon, but the Falcon's going to need a bigger turbo, I think, to make the power I want to make. So... I've got some shorty headers. Um, I've kicked around buying a hot side from On3, or I've been looking at Marketplace for one, or I'm probably just gonna make one. I've got a TIG welder, I just make one. But maybe I take the, the Mustang out next month, December something, um, and just give it one last hoorah with the nitrous kit and, and the way that it is. I'd really like to change the camshaft in that thing with that turbo and the Terminator X. I think it, it'd go I think it would go into the nines but maybe I'm wrong maybe it'll just break I don't know so if you could do me a favor drop a comment if you want to see me take Felicia out and beat it up I mean I personally feel like you guys have already seen the uh videos from Rocky Mountain Race Week so you know what the car's gonna do it should go into the tens like always um I think and like I said I think Tess and Tony want to try and break my back with the maverick but um let me know drop a comment let me know if that's what you want me to do um maybe we'll take it out and another thing i wanted to show you um the truck i didn't mean to show you guys that so it's kind of dirty right now we went camping last week and we are by the ocean so it's got like this that ocean film on it it needs to be washed, but today's kind of windy and crappy, so it, that may not happen today. That was one of the things I wanted to do today, but probably not gonna happen. Probably just gonna work on the Falcon and get you guys some content, but I'll show you the truck. So it's a 22 F250, four wheel drive, six, seven, 10 speed. It's it's a freaking unit, man. It, it just, it's a hot rod, I mean, I should have stepped up and got a diesel truck a long time ago. Um, it is the XLT, which is what I wanted. I really wanted that center seat. Um, I got a lot of kids. And when we go camping, I want to make sure that I can take them all with me. So I really wanted to have that center seat. Plus a Lariat was quite a bit more. And I, I'm really just was buying this truck for the powertrain and to be able to tow. So... That's why we got the XLT. I mean, it's crammed in there for sure. Um, I'm already looking at the Mishimoto intercooler box or whatever that deal is that they've got. Um, but yeah, this thing freaking motors, man. When it's like in fourth gear, you can mash it and it just wants to blow the tires away. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I can't wait to hook to race car trailer enclosed with my Falcon in it and head to the Midwest where all the real stuff's going on. We're back from getting our hair cut. Face looks a lot better. Got kid. But I made, as you seen on the time lapse, a new inner piece for these two fender sections. And now I'm starting to just tack them in. So I've only got the one side. I'll flip this around. So I'll tack and I'll go all the way. And uh, probably 
probably just catch up with you after this one's in and then I'll work with the other one and film that one.